First of all, I will show you how to make a starting template that I always use when I start out. Um, it contains some preloaded effects and sidechain track and stuff like that, just to start out with stuff uh, that I don't need to put in every time I want to make a track. Um, so it's pretty good to have a starting template so you can just go and write out your ideas instantly. Uh, yeah, so what I have in this starting template here is that I have a sidechain track. Um, I can show you how to make that one. You just go to the plus sign and create a software instrument track and um, yeah, and you have a, just an empty track there. Um, and I just did it this way. I added a, a software instrument and utility and a cloth geist. And I just have the, the default settings on here. Um, just did that one. And I routed this track to bus 64. Um, and why bus 64? It's just because I don't want to have this other buses uh, to be used to anything else than just effects or sense in the later process. So bus 64 is kind of far away from every other bus. So I just did it that way. Um, so here I have the bus 64 on the right hand side. and. The thing I did here is just to take away the output from the signal. So just just choose the no output and you will have a signal from this that it's just completely silent. Uh, but you can still see that it's going a, si a signal from here. So then I just did it this way. I just put it on the MIDI, MIDI data here. Um, so I can have this side chain. And why did I chose to do it this way rather than having a side chain plugin? Like uh, there is a lot of side chain plugins on now, but for instance, we have the um, for instance the Nicky Romero Kickstart plugin. It's a cool side chain plugin to make your sounds duck when the kick hits, or you can experiment with that stuff. Uh, I don't use this one. I don't use the plugins at all. It's just because if I'm going to use a sidechain plugin on every track, say I have like 50 tracks or uh, or 50 software instruments or, or 50 channels, uh, and I have a sidechain plugin on every channel, I would have to disable or auto automate the signal on 50 channels every time I want the side chain to go off or go back on again. So with this one, you can just choose to have side chain on if you have the, the region here, or if you want the side chain signal to be off, then you just don't have any region here and the side chain will be not affected on every track. So that's why basically. Um, so I always have this one, so say I want side chain here and not in the intro here, then I just go on and have the side chain region on here and not here. Uh, so that is the first thing that I have in the starting template. Then I have some settings on uh, in this time thing here. Um, I think it starts, it defaults with this. This don't give me so much information. I mean, sure, the BPM, it's nice to have, but um, I'm used to the old logic uh, time display, so I just have it this way. Uh, here I can see the time and here the BPM and here is the MIDI in. So for instance, if I play on my MIDI keyboard, you will see what note I play. Uh, and here you also have the CPU and HDD meter. So that is nice to have. Uh, for instance, if your computer is slow or getting slow, uh, you can see that and you can bounce some tracks to audio, for instance, to make the workload a little bit lower. So that's nice to have. 
And what I also have is some effects on um, some sends. I have three sends on here. And the first one is just a small reverb. Uh, it's nice to have three different reverbs on because if you want some reverb, it's nice to send a sound to to either one or two or three reverbs max. So if, say for instance, I have those 50 software tracks, uh, if I do, if I make a, uh, a reverb track on every one, I would, my computer would be rather slow because you have 50 plugins on every software track just to have the reverb and you will have different rooms because a, a, a reverb is a room basically so if let's say you choose um you choose one reverb for one sound and another reverb for another sound you will have two different rooms and say you will have to do that in 50 times that will get you 50 rooms so imagine your track being played in 50 different rooms that's not good so 